Welcome to mining.com.au's Mining Minute. I'm Carolyn Ribeiro. Wall Street ended Monday higher. The Nasdaq was boosted by Tesla shares, which added 10% on optimism for the EV giant's Dojo supercomputer technology. The Aussie dollar has pushed past 10-month lows, jumping 0.9% to US 64.31 cents, fueled by a weaker greenback as key US inflation data looms, and stats that show Australia's economy grew more than expected in the second quarter, following strong exports and public investment. In commodities, while gold, silver and copper prices rose, iron ore lost ground, but is still up by 11.5% year on year. To ASX News Now, Hancock Prospecting revealed late on Monday it has snapped up a 7.72% shareholding in Liontown Resources and is eyeing a board position. It gives a private company controlled by mining magnate Gina Reinhardt a hand in the development of Liontown's Kathleen Valley Lithium Project in Western Australia. It follows news that Albemarle will begin its due diligence period shortly as part of its $6.6 billion takeover of Liontown. Hancock Prospecting notes Kathleen Valley has significant risks, but potential to operate at scale and can leverage Hancock's expertise. And Black Canyon has hit more thick, shallow, manganese-enriched shales at the KR1 discovery within its Balfour manganese field tenements in Western Australia's Pilbara region. Assay results from drilling completed back in July have tripled the known strike of the mineralised body to 600 metres. With a further 1,600 metres of drill results pending, Black Canyon expects a material increase to the mineralised footprint in the area. And that's all in today's Mining Minute. I'm Carolyn Ribeiro.